Uh, community paramedicine is a new and emerging uh, portion of emergency medical services. A community paramedic is a nationally registered paramedic uh, with additional training. The CP is a patient advocate. That's our biggest role in health, is being the patient advocate. So it's being able to connect them to the resources that they need. One of the biggest issues that we found um, upon discharge, it's taken as many as 14 to 21 days for a patient to get a follow-up visit from their primary care physician. Well, a lot of times, the primary care physician didn't even know there was an admission. Um, so when we see that patient, one of the first things we're gonna do is reach out to the PCP and say, I'm here with Miss Smith, and Miss Smith has an appointment in two weeks, but she was just admitted for exacerbation of CHF, and we would like to try to get her appointment um, moved up this week if possible. Um, we need to make sure that we're getting those patients seen within that you know, 72 hours to, to six days uh, post-discharge uh, because we feel like that that's when they're going to have the best outcomes and we are that conduit to make that happen. And we started discussing community paramedicine back in uh, 2015. Um, at that time, uh, the Rural Health Association recognized that there's a big gap in, in terms of health care delivery, especially in the rural areas. Um, folks were not getting the type of care they needed. Uh, some of the patients have um, mental health problems, substance abuse problems. They need enhanced care management, which they won't get going to the emergency room. We looked at best practices nationwide um, on um, treatment protocols. Uh, we developed the first set of standardized statewide treatment protocols here in West Virginia, which we're extremely proud of. So every program uh, that has a CP program in the state of West Virginia, the first step is the community needs assessment. So we recognize immediately where those deficits in the healthcare are. We start building that resource guide to say, if you have a patient that has uh, problems being able to uh, get food, then we have food banks. Uh, if we have a patient that has a problem being able to get out to get their medications, then we have pharmacies that do home delivery. Right now, probably our number one issue is um, the reimbursement side of it. Um, outside of um, hospital readmission reductions, um, there's not a lot of funding stream. Uh, we didn't want to develop it um, on grant base because as we've seen with some of these other programs, when the grants run out, the programs start to falter. We're the second most rural state in the country. Um, our biggest health care crisis, in my opinion, is access. Um, most of our population centers are still small towns compared to other states nationwide. There's such a shortage of, of primary care physicians to handle the amount of population that we have. Um, there's a lot of people that are still utilizing emergency rooms as their primary care physician, and that's just a flawed system. The largest differences that I've seen and, and just the most immediate impacts are with uh, medication reconciliations. And it happens because when, when a patient's being discharged from the hospital, what they want to do is immediately go home. And there's a lot of instructions that go along with it. And people aren't always engaged at that point for the instructions. So it allows the paramedic to, to go over the, you know, the discharge instructions again with them to make sure everything's clear. Because many times there's changes in medicines. The impact that it has uh, specifically with hospitals is that it uh, has the ability to reduce the readmission rate for which they're being penalized now currently. But also, uh, it has the ability to decrease in the improper utilization of their emergency departments. Uh, you know, and as for the community, you know, it has the potential to improve the overall health of the community. Paramedics in general, it's about taking care of their communities. And these people are our communities, and we care so much that we want to make sure that they're taken care of at the highest level that they need.